Hello everyone, thanks for tuning into today's 10 to 40 day video update. We're going to have a look at the weather for the next 10 to 40 days for this video. So day 10 will take us to the 22nd of November. And we'll be able to extend that. <coughs> <coughs> I'm sorry, everyone will be able to extend out beyond that. We have extended GFS and ECM ensembles, bear range to out of weeks. We'll have a look at CFSB2 for the next four weeks at the end of the video. And I shall get on with that for you in a moment. Just to say that the first video sales are 6 and UK. Well, look at Check out those two if you'd like to do that. Like, share, and subscribe. So, as you're doing that, you probably hear I've got the lurgy and throat's a bit ropey. Voice is a bit ropey uh, today. But I'm going to be live for channel members a little bit later on. So, if you're a channel member, Member, then uh, check into your uh, November channel member live stream, and I shall see you a little bit later on for that one. That's at 8 p.m. Right, so we're going to start off with the latest wind from Earth from NorthSchool.net. So we've got a low pressure system south and southwest country. Uh, we bring down this north to uh, northeasterly flow just to the north. We're still drawing up those very mild southerly south. Westerlies to the south, and we've got a weather system that's marking the boundary. And that's going to be giving you quite a bit of rain over the next couple of days. But uh, by the weekend, things will be drying out, and most northerly winds are going to start descending, so it will become colder as we move uh, through the weekend and into next week. Central temperature is currently sitting at 11.9, that's 5.5 degrees above 6.99 the average. <coughs> so, thank you, everyone. Provisional to, <coughs> to uh, yesterday, to the 11th of November. Means for GFS upper temperature precipitation ensembles for the next couple of weeks. We're going to London today, so the red line is the third year upper air temperature average for London. Starting off above average with the upper air temperatures at the moment. So I'm trying to stifle a sneeze. <laughs> I'm trying to stifle a sneeze. Um, those above average with the upper air temperature at the moment as they have been throughout November so far. We do see the upper air temperatures dropping though. Uh, so we move into the second half of the month, becoming colder uh, then uh, before the upper air temperatures start lifting back up, reverting close to average during the last week of November there. <coughs> Temperature anomalies for the next uh, seven days, from the 17th of November to the 17th of November, below average for the north, above average in the south. Uh, 8 to 12 day temperature not only watch that out we're going colder than average across all areas so becoming substantially colder as we're moving through the second half of November there precipitation anomalies for the next uh, 7 days to the 19th of November below average for western Scotland North Island above average for England and Wales the 8 to 14 day is about average to slightly on the drier side Okay, well, let's start going through chart data. Let's start with the latest UK based euro run. Show low pressure south, high pressure to the north. And we're bringing the wind in from an easy direction over the weekend. Next week, the wind starts to shift around to a northerly as low pressure drops in from the north. And as that low pressure pushes through, that's where it ran me the next week. That's where we'll turn the wind into a proper Arctic northerly. I can't use that looking like this let's go there i can't look like this low pressure again to our south bring, <coughs> bring the most easterly winds over the weekend into next week where well, the northerly properly properly starts to set in as a set up at 180 hours next wednesday with low pressure south high pressure blocking around greenland bringing down that north to northeasterly. The KMA is looking like that. Again, wind shifting into the north through next week behind that area of uh, low pressure. We know you get to 186 hours with this, um, but it looks like the KMA is uh, getting colder through the course of uh, next week as well, courtesy of that area of low pressure. The GFS, again, will go to the midnight run. The GFS looks like this. Again, winds in from the east through 
the uh, weekend into next week. That's when we pull down those cold uh, northerly winds. And as the week goes on, the northerly, the northerly properly sets in courtesy of that uh, mid-Atlantic ridge. So cold through much of next week with a risk of some overnight frost. However, only briefly, and then we turn the wind back into a milder westerly as we get into the last weekend of uh, November, back towards those cold northerlies again. <coughs> As we get to Friday the 28th, November, high pressure. <coughs> oh, sorry, everyone. High pressure is more or less over top of the country. So probably mostly dry, uh, but could be rather on the chilly side with that. And then the GFS 6 set, in comparison, uh, looks like this. Again, we've got both winds in uh, from the east through the weekend into next week. North to northeasterly uh, winds are with us, becoming colder through, uh, through uh, the course of uh, next week. Bit different from the GFS uh, 6Z round day 10. We're going to try and raise the heights towards Greenland and uh, low pressure coming into that. So a bit of a battle taking place between what looks like Scandinavian high trying to get going, uh, but low pressure keeps on coming. But the GFS runs having a about five days of cold weather, five or six days of colder weather through uh, next week. Overnight for us, wintry showers likely in the north of the northeast. And then eventually uh, it's pushing the milder air through uh, by the uh, following weekend there. Well, if you enjoyed the video, <coughs> please do like, share and subscribe. Thank you so much everyone for doing that. And drop a comment, let us know what you think about this. All my videos and content, don't forget to tell your friends about guys to get to subscribe to. So everyone for doing that. GM, again, we have uh, high pressure, north, low pressure to south through the weekend. Into next week, uh, those northerly winds descending and becoming colder as the week goes on. Uh, lower pressure starts running into that. That low, as it comes into the cold air, might deliver, could deliver uh, a little bit of snow. Um, the low is like going on northwest, southeast alignment, dropping through the country. So that's the kind of thing as it, run, as it runs into cold air that might deliver some snow. More likely to be cold rain away from high ground in the north, I would have thought. But, well, you never know. Maybe we could get <coughs> something wintry out of that. And then we've got the ECM looking like this. Again, high pressure or low pressure south with those winds in from the east over the weekend. Next week, we've got northerly winds continuing. So uh, we've got this low dropping through. So uh, next week, it's chilly, uh, but not that cold. And then as that low drops in and pushes away to the east, that's when we open the door to those properly cold uh, northerly winds then. High pressure begins to slip in across country <coughs> around day 10. As a cold air at high pressure will deliver overnight frost. And then uh, low pressure has a go coming into that, but gets diverted down towards France, the Bay of Biscay, back to milder conditions right at the end of the ECM run. Into closing days of the month, we're back into those milder west to south westerly winds once again. This is a precipitation forecast based on that ECM run, but it's better. Come. So rain in the north today, more wet weather setting up through the uh, course of Friday. Some really heavy rain there. Uh, for England and Wales. That peters out, and then we start to open the door to those chilly northwest winds, but it's beyond that through the middle of next week, but it becomes even colder with winds in from the north. And yes, we do see some snow here uh, <coughs> with that low as it clears away to the east, bring down those proper northerly winds. So wintry potential there through the middle of next week for the snow risk eases off for around day 10. And those wintry showers die back towards the eastern coastal areas. These are the on the table. We've been the ECM ensembles today for day 10 for the Icelandic Met Office. It gets to the 22nd of November. 90 members of the ECM ensembles with a blocking area of high pressure around green ice and top of low through and to the east country winds in from the cold north northeast to leave. We've got 18 with low pressure to the east. High pressure is out to the west. Bring the wind in. From the north or northeasterly direction, and then we've got 14 high pressure blocking around Greenland and Iceland. Low pressure at east winds in from the north or northeast. All options looking cold there, I have to say, at day 10. In two weeks' time, these are the options that we've got. Gets us to the <coughs> 27th of November, 17 
members of the ECM are solved in low pressure to the east and keeping things cold with winds in for the north. 15 with low pressure to the north, high pressure to the south. That brings us back into the west south westerly. 11 with high pressure over the country and 8 with low pressure to our east. The winds on a chilly uh, northwest southeast alignment there. So it looks like probably turns milder at uh, two weeks out. Most yachts look cold for day 10. At two weeks out, it looks like it probably turns milder, but like it's not a done deal. There is quite a bit of uncertainty about that. CFS B2 finally means a 500 millibar high to long to break it down to week periods. The first week period takes us from the 12th to the 18th of November. The next week, high pressure towards green and ice and low pressure down to southwest. Bring the wind in from a southeasterly uh, direction. Week 2 is going to be the 19th to the 25th of November. Low pressure to the northeast, high pressure around Greenland. Winds coming in from the north or northeasterly direction. A cold and wintry week three will be the 26th of November to the 2nd of December with a trough of low pressure over the country then. So unsettled, probably relatively mild. And then week four, milder week four, will be the 3rd to the 9th of December. Back to milder conditions, high pressure over the south country, low pressure to the north, and winds in from the west. Note there is a blocking area of high pressure <coughs> towards Svalbard. However, that uh, might try and force some colder air southwards, but in that pattern, it will be the milder uh, west southwest is the whole sway due to the ridge over France. Got to lower those heights to the south to get cold weather in from the north. Okay, we're done. If you've enjoyed the video, please like, share, and subscribe. Make sure you're everyone board doing that. Drop a comment, let us know what you think about this and all my videos content. Don't forget to tell your friends about Gals Web Vids and get them to subscribe too. Thank you so much, everyone, for doing that. So I'm live with channel members at 8 p.m. this evening. Channel member, and check into that one. We'll have more content for you tomorrow. For this one, though, that's all for now. And thanks for watching.